pride means to me community, continuity, identity. Not allowing anybody else to tell you who you are or who you should love or anything about yourself. I think Christopher Street is a pioneer of love because it really tells a story of people's needs to connect. It's got fancy stores and then Leatherman that's been there for decades. So it's really sort of a distillation of old New York and new New York. The one constant is the physical look and feel. If anybody like Rip Van Winkle went to sleep in 1980 and came back, he will certainly recognize the entire street. In the early 90s, it was scary. Beating up people with bats, gay bashing, screaming, verbal abuse, and so forth. You'd walk around the city, and I would walk in the middle of the street for fear of getting attacked. Teenagers coming in from New Jersey and the outer boroughs looking for gay men to attack. For me, Christopher Street was a place of safety because you had safety in numbers. It was because of all the gay businesses. You knew that you were walking down a street that all the men on the street, I would assume, would be gay. It was the middle of Greenwich Village, after all, the first so-called gay neighborhood in New York City. There are different stories on Christopher Street, different narratives in some ways. Back in the 70s, virtually the entire length, it was just continually lined with leather shops, gay bars. Historically, bars have played safe spaces for the LGBT community. In 1966, what became known as the Sip-In at Julius's was the first gay civil rights action, whether it was legal for gay people to be able to get a drink in a New York City bar. You know, and then there was Stonewall. It was 51 and 53 Christopher Street. It was one continuous space. It had a dance floor that was large, which is unusual for gay bars that were typically much more covert. So it had a reputation. In the immediate aftermath of the Stonewall Uprising, during which the police had wrecked the bar, it never reopened. Even though that's not the original Stonewall, people have a feeling and a visceral connection that connects them to what Stonewall was. Why do people go out to Christopher Street today? I think it's because it symbolizes so much as a place where people fought back on the streets, on Christopher Street, on a trajectory that you could stand here and celebrate Stonewall 50 in a very public way that would be unheard of 50 years ago. Even if the stores change ownership, even if the bar Stonewall closes, Christopher Street is always going to have a gay past. And ultimately, at the end of the day, everybody should be able to direct their love to whomever they choose. It's really important as we celebrate to have people understand the history and understand what discrimination was. Because if you don't know that, you don't know what you potentially can go back to.